What's up boys, it's Cade. Just wanted to shoot a quick video today on changing your lion's name. Uh, now, the process is relatively new. We tried to change our name before I retired the first account, maybe two, three months ago. Yeah, maybe three months ago. Uh, and they still didn't have a system in place for, for changing your alliance name um, unless it was... Uh, they, no, they had processes in place for changing your in-game name for uh, offensive content, but not your uh, your alliance name. So they've since changed it and uh, browsing the Reddit, the subreddit, um, there's not a lot of info on it because it's uh, it's relatively new. So I thought I'd make a quick video. I'll make one on, on changing your in-game name as well. The process is super similar, but... Um, this one's specifically for people looking to uh, change their alliance name. Now, we wanted to change our name because we still had a two in our name. This alliance used to be a feeder a long, long time ago, way before I, I even joined the alliance. But, uh, and that, that original Scroll Invaders, um, whatever, parent alliance, uh, disbanded a long time ago. We long since passed them up in terms of, uh, of progression, but uh, we were still stuck with that two in our name, so we wanted to get that tag for a long time. We we're going to change the name to Scroll Invaders, and even though the old alliance, the original Scroll Invaders, without the two, isn't searchable anymore, for some reason they said, uh, no, like, this alliance name is taken, so I guess keep that in mind. If you're looking for an alliance, the fact that you can't search it may not mean it's not there. They may still be seeing it on their servers or something. So, we ended up going with, uh, with the, uh, the fancier, uh, more symbol-based name, which we were perfectly happy to do. But, um... Let's get to it. The, the process itself is pretty simple. So basically, from the home screen, hit that little gear icon, top left-hand corner for your settings. Scroll down to support, um, which will take you to the, uh, to the Kabam website. And then you have to um, click this one, the third one from the bottom. Uh, I have an issue with my account. I want to change my account name, which is the top option. Uh, now, they haven't updated the menus themselves. Um, they just updated this page since they changed it, so that's why there's no button for, like, change the alliance name. But once you've gotten into this screen, you'll see the alliance name change rules and procedures uh, right at the bottom. So, the stuff you need to keep in mind are that the leader has to contact them uh, to make the change. The name can't violate the terms of service, so I guess no uh, offensive content, things like that. Um, the name can't contain Marvel or Transformers intellectual property, but I guess there's some leeway with that maybe. If you spell it differently, obviously the scrolls, we spelled it differently and there was no issue. Even when we initially uh, sent the regular, like scroll invaders uh, spelled the regular way, we didn't hear anything about uh, Marvel or Transformer intellectual property. They just told us the name was taken. So, um, I don't know. Uh, try it out, see what, uh, what they say. Uh, the name can't already be in use obviously and the you can't have requested a name change in the past 90 days so basically just like your in-game name you can do this every 90 days um, now once you're you're there all you have to do is hit I need more help and that'll take you to the uh, to the form basically for subject I just put alliance name change describe the issue in detail I had emails from way back when I tried to change it so that was more of a uh, copy paste and, and edit kind of scenario um, and then you're gonna have to fill out the stuff at the bottom here. Um, a lot of these forms, even though a lot of it's irrelevant for an alliance name change, um, a lot of these forms you won't be able to submit unless you fill everything out. Um, and that's about it. Now, in my experience, it takes them, if it's regular business hours, it takes them like an hour, an hour and a half, uh, to get back to you. The longest I had to wait, we went back and forth a little bit, uh, again, because the, they said the, the name was already in use. Um, we went back and forth and the longest it took him to, uh, to get back to me was maybe two and a half hours, maybe, uh, maybe two hours. So they're pretty good about that. I guess they have a lot of staff, um, assigned to this kind of stuff for, for in-game name changes and alliance name changes. So the process itself is, uh, relatively simple and that's really it. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's straightforward. I know compared to the old system where I, you know, went back and forth with them for a couple days and they still said, oh no, there's no way we can change it. Uh, this was a breeze. It actually uh, really surprised me how quickly it, uh, it happened. Uh, and it all happens from the, uh, from the support menu. So I hope this was helpful. I, I know with the new Alliance Ward season, a lot of people might be uh, looking to make some, uh, some changes or modifications to their tag or their name. 
Uh, so I hope I hope the, the video helps to do that. Uh, if you're not subbed, I hope you sub, especially if you enjoyed it. I hope you hit the like button because it definitely, definitely helps. And uh, I'd love to see you on one of the live streams. So uh, if you can make it, that's where all the fun happens. All right, boys, again, hope you got some use out of this, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.